are you? How's your life? How's your family? How's your, you have two kids? Is that right? I am. I can't complain. Got uh, gorgeous, beautiful kids in my life. Mm -hmm. Actually, I can complain. Because <laughs> what I didn't anticipate when, when I had these little babies with my wife was that there would be so much stress about where they're going to go to school. Yeah. Uh, they, it's, they're getting to that age. Uh, the oldest one's five, and it's kindergarten time. And there's this one, and you just want to make a good impression. And there's a Hebrew school that we really liked. And I feel a little hypocritical, because I'm an atheist, you know, but, but it's a really good school. And I am a Jew, technically. We, we you know, I, I'm, I'm allowed to take my kids there. And, right. and my wife is too. But also, we've not been to synagogue for years, so... I was kind of feeling the pressure to show that I'm a good Jew, and I was putting on a little bit of a, a show. You were, really? You were less well, than... Well, I was just saying, you know, I do have some experience with the, 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 uh, uh, the, the High Holy Days and the Passover Seder, and I was, and they were saying, yeah, so what's, uh, what's Passover like at, at the Home of the Blacks? And we were like, uh, yeah, it's good. We used my wife's uh, grandfather's Haggadah, which is true. And, uh, and uh, I said, the only thing is it's missing that last song, the Chad Gadiad, which was my favorite as a kid. And, uh, you know, and I sang a little bit of it for him, and it was really shameful. Because... <laughs> Were you kind of making it up, or was no, it... No, no, it's legit. It's legit. But I was really playing it up, how into it I am. And, and as we were leaving, uh, I was... Uh, Still singing a little bit of that last, and uh, they were like, okay, that's good. And we were leaving, and I could see the other parents that were waiting in line were looking at us very judgmentally, like, you don't really care about Passover. <laughs> but uh, Did you find the song pretty catchy as a songwriter and a musician? Did you, do you like the song? I actually do love that song. And mm -hmm. it, it, it's, uh, it's kind of like the original heavy metal song. Because, really? well, it's all about, you know, the chain of life. And it starts off with a little goat that father brought for Tuzuzim. And uh, the goat was, was eaten by the cat, who was bit by the dog. And it goes all the way up the chain up to the angel of death that slayed the ox. <laughs> and I remember there was like little illustrations when I was a kid. I was obsessed with the angel of death. It was very Black Sabbath. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I, I first it got my start. It could be a Black Sabbath song, yeah. Exactly.